God bless each and one of you. Um, today I want to tell you my testimony. Um, it's been like a year ago. And I gave my testimony for like a couple months back. But God has presented even more things. Um, and I want to share this with you. Because God is saying that this is a stumbling block for many Christians. Of growing wise. And um, things that you should know and be aware of. Amen. So, um, my testimony really starts back, um, I was in my room, and the TV was on, uh, I was watching, well, I wasn't watching, my sister was with me, my baby sister was with me, and she was watching Sesame Street, uh, my new believer, starting our walk with the Lord, and, you know, I felt uncomfortable, so I put, like, a Christian show for her, um, I believe Superbook. Anyways, I talked to my mom later, uh, and she, you know, I'm telling her, like, I felt, like, really weird while that was playing. And, uh, she was saying how, like, back then, how, you know, the churches, you know, they believe that the cartoons were bad, you know, because of how they acted and everything. And I remember that night, I prayed that, I, I, I was there on my knees for a pretty long time, and, uh. I was praying to God, I was like, Lord, that can you show me of, like, of all these things that may you show it to me and, like, what's, what, what's its meaning? And, mind you, I, I slept, like, for a while. Like, this night was, like, I slept so peacefully, but when I was, where, where I was at, um, you know, like, anyways, I'm, I'm just gonna keep on going. So... I remember how I was in a room, a, uh, like a like a golden yellow room, and I remember how in this golden room, how there was a like a hand, like a muscular hand, and uh, this hand had a disc, and on the disc it had like a bunch of cartoon characters on it, right? It had characters like a uh, um, you know like TMNT. Uh, like different cartoons like uh Laura and uh, you know Sesame Street like all these you know real kitty kitty cartoony stuff anyways but, but the most one that stood out was Sesame Street it was crazy and I remember how I saw a big projector screen in front of me right the muscular hand puts the disc inside and press play all of a sudden I see demons dancing everywhere dancing like a like MJ wise and just like turning you know doing awkward movements with their bodies and everything like it was really demonic brothers and sisters mind you I was looking at this on the other side of the project projector screen but I know this was live of like you know whatever time it was uh, I was seeing this like it was literally live or whatever was happening right so a bunch of demons were dancing um, the background was like fire, like really, really back. Wherever they were at was like dark, but like you could, the fire was like so, like, I don't, I don't know, there was just like a light upon them. And I believe that was like, like the fire. But I couldn't really see their faces because how dark it was, but like everything was like you could see. I remember on the top there were screens, multi screens. On the screens, they're showing, like, you know, the you know the videos with the Dean characters and the kids, you know, singing and dancing. Well, off the screens, and the really, really bad kids were being tormented. And grown-ups, like the parents that put on the, the things on for them or watch it with them, they were there. Or people who participated in cartoons and died without, you know, repenting of that and coming to Christ. Okay, they were there, too. And none of them were really familiar, because these cartoons were really, like, old. And some of them were, you know, they're still going on today. I'm going to jump into it soon, okay? And, um, mind you, there were multi-screens on the ceiling. There were people being tormented in the background. And these were people that were already about, like, to die, or that they were already dead. So some of them were being tormented spiritually, and some of them were, like, already, like, damned. Okay, 
on the screens. Um, I remember how there's a bunch of names and brands I already wrote down here. And I'm going to read them to you. And because, you know, I wrote these so, like, I remember everything. So, the first thing I saw was McDonald's, Burger King, Checkers, Wendy's, Sunny's, Taco Bell, Chipotle, Chipotle, Applebee's, Red Robin, KFC, Pop Pies, Chick-fil-A, because I don't know if you heard, but the owner son let the 666 sandwich um, be on, and that was contaminated, Con contaminated the whole um, restaurant. Domino's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Howie's, Marco's Pizza, Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, Starbucks, Saxby's, Ch Chili's, and Baskin Robbins. Brothers and sisters, do not eat from these places. These places, you know, they did, like, the owners, they literally sell their souls so that they could be famous. And it depends on each contract they had with the enemy, you know, depending on how famous they are. Now, the top ones were McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, and Taco Bell. Now, many of you ain't gonna believe this, and some will, but... They they put a lot of they put witchcraft over the food, and I saw how they made you know human sacrifices and they put it inside the food. And brothers and sisters, you know, of today's society and everything, how witchcraft is even like more, you know, it ain't powerful, but it's more powerful, you know, than the government themselves. Like just with witchcraft, they they could show you know the. Like, the cameras can't show anything or anything. Like, it's crazy. And do not eat from these places because these are... And, like, you know, places like the Chinese food. Be careful. There's, you know, the little idols and stuff like that. That that And, and the Bible, it says, don't eat food that is served to idols. That's already contaminated. Like at Starbucks. Starbucks was also one of them. And Starbucks was a really high place. Subway, many will not believe this, but this is recycled trash with, with again, human sacrifices with witchcraft. Dunkin' Donuts was also one of them. That, you know, there's a demon down there. And God showed me this demon. And he's purple. And then the inside he got an orange. And it's like a, like a hole. But he's like a furry looking like monster. And he represents Dunkin' Donuts. And then McDonald's, how the French fries and chicken nuggets are like us humans. And the M of the McDonald's is a door. And uh, it's the door and the opening to the restaurant. Now, some of these restaurants, I saw Hellbirds and Sisters in. It's not beautiful down there at all. And I remember how um, a guy showed me that there's, you know, children down there for, you know, Watching things of these demonic cartoons. But also like they didn't follow the Lord. And I just want to tell you like there ain't just grown ups down there. There are also children. Children who know right from wrong. You know, you know, like we all have a birth date here and a um, expire date. And understand that Christ is coming soon. And I am just talking to the grown ups here. I'm talking to the children. That it's your time now to come right to God. Remember Jesus loves you. So escape the wrath to come. And receive eternal life through Jesus Christ. Um, God showed other things. These are the snacks. Get ready. And if you need to pause the video. I'll put a list inside the description. So you guys could also write it down. Alright. So there was also M&M's. Twizzlers. Kit Kat. Chips Ahoy. Oreos. Skittles, rainbow lollipops, rainbow lollipops that these singers use in the music videos and all that. Do not eat it. It's contaminated. Gummy bear Haribos. Again, they were also, um, they also had a, uh, how do you say that? They also were human sacrifice. They put witchcraft over it. Doritos shows the Illuminati. Don't eat. Lay's contaminated. Takis, contaminated. Coca-Cola, 
They kill babies, um, mostly on Halloween, they make the Coca-Cola. And they will go to the Satanists and everything. Same thing with McDonald's and all these other restaurants. But mostly McDonald's and Taco Bell. They are the tops of the tops. And Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Taco Bell. These are the most big ones, brothers and sisters. Listen up. How they literally put not only baby sacrifices, human sacrifices, but they put witchcraft in the food. They will call a bunch of witches and Satanists up together. They will do many things, and they will contaminate the very drink and the very food that everybody eats today. And us as Christians, don't eat this or drink this, for this will contaminate us. And yes, you know, sometimes God sends people to give food to others. Like, let's say a meal to McDonald's to a homeless person. That is so different from us eating it like a normal basis. That is not God. Now, God will like bless the food sometimes for some certain reasons. But not everything we pray over will be blessed. If God's saying to not eat this, you know, don't eat it. Like the food that was served to the idols. Did they eat it? No. Did they pray for God to bless it? No. God told them straightly not to eat it. Because it was served to idols. But, so don't eat it. Because these are all, you know, very demonic um, sacrifices. Also, what was shown, Pep's company. Make sure you, when you grab the soda, that it could be store ba banned or that it's not famous. Gummy worms, Skittles, Starbursts, Airheads, um, Cheetahs, Pringles, Kool-Aid. Any candy with cartoon theme you can't eat or drink. High C, Brisk, Arizona. Gatorade, Red Bull, Monster Drink, uh, Tootsie Roll, Twix, Butterfinger, um, let's see, hold on. On the wrapper chips and, and the candy, um, you know, of Cardi B and all these other snacks, don't eat them. If you cannot listen to the music, don't eat it either. Oh, again, they were contaminated. Nerds, Sweet Tart, Power Rates, same thing, they sell their soul, the owners, for it to be famous. Another thing that was shown on the multi-screens that God said for us Christians, or people themselves, not to watch or eat. This will affect them spiritually, and then affect the physical world. As you see, why do you think when people watch these types of cartoons, which we will say about in a minute, how they be stuck on the TV and when they're, let's say their mom or dad calls them. They be like, no, not right now. I'm watching. Or they get angry out of all of a sudden for some dumb cartoon or something like that. These things are demonic. And brothers and sisters, you got to stay away from them. Understood? Dragon Ball C includes demonic things. Harry Potter, witchcraft. God said that witchcraft is abomination to him. Do not watch. Nickelodeon, Disney, Disney Jr., Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, Simpsons, Dora, PBS Kids, Baby First, Coco Melon, DC Comics, Marvel, Hello Kitty, Batman, Jojo Siwa, Anime, Anime Sesame Street, Muppets, um, Night, uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Night, Night, um, Night Kailan. Um, there will be pictures here. Wonder Woman, Paw Patrol, WWE, Soap Operas, also known as novellas. TMNT, Power Pups, Pink Panther, Scooby Doo, Mickey Mouse, Dragon, Dragon Tales, Barley Dinosaur, The LOL, Strawberry Shortcake, Frozen, Trolls, anything um themed. Stranger Things, Predator vs. Alien, TV Things is not by God unless doing God's work or something to learn a Bible. Brothers and sisters, before I keep on going, listen. The enemy can use anything. If it's not of God, he can quickly use it for his own evilness and twist it and confuse us as Christians. We find these things as so innocent. 
that we don't see as dark meaning. Why do you think so many kids don't obey their parents, their father and their mother now? Alright, so these are some extra warnings. And please listen. If it's not preaching, Christian, a Christian movie, don't be up watching things. Anything, anytime. But this is a Pacific time. But at 3 a.m., they come more. Demons will literally come specifically at 3 a.m. if you be watching any of these things. Now, please don't try to make a trend about watching these bad things at 3 a.m. This is not funny, brothers and sisters. God literally does not want us watching these things. Please listen to the warnings that God has given. Many people won't believe this. But listen, that the enemy has blinded and webbed our society. Greatly. So, brothers and sisters, please listen. Now, before we get to our next page, let's just say, I want to say a quick testimony of another thing. Um, before, I was I used to play an Xbox and everything. I was so much in love with the Xbox. I loved playing the games and everything. Now, I absolutely hate it, and I hope brothers and sisters realize and their eyes be opened by Jesus Christ, that may they see the evilness. For we should hate whatever the Lord hates and love whatever the Lord loves. Alright. And um, I also stopped playing um, phone games. And believe it or not, these little things took me away from the very presence of God. And when God showed me all of this, if it's also on the Xbox, it's also on the phone. Things of the phone also bring people down. That's a stumbling block. Anyways, I'm going to keep on going, okay? And... I'm not forcing any of y'all to, to stop watching these things. But I am warning you but because demons will come to your house spiritually. And it will affect the physical world. Now listen. Xbox. All. PlayStation. All types. Nintendo. All types. Wii. All types. Saga. Or Sega. All types. VR headset. 3D. Apple iPhones. And I'm going to stop right there so I can explain. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, Wii, um, Saga, and VR headset. They all are doors for the enemy to come through. When we watch bad things on the TV, um, things like that, they come through the TV and affect us spiritually. And the iPhone, you know, of the, you know, of, um... How do I say that? Like the Apple, right? You know, many people say it's not about Adam and Eve and all that, but it is, brothers and sisters. And let me tell you something. The fruit that was on the forbidden tree was not a apple. It was not a apple. Another thing I want to say is that it was made by the great technology or advancement of the good and evil of the forbidden tree, if that makes sense. That they, you know, they did a um, a contract with the enemy to get so famous that many Christians have these phones even inside the church. Brothers and sisters, now this is not to stop, you know, of you guys like to draw it out or anything. But if you want to get closer to God, there's things that you're going to have to draw away of the world to get closer to him. Yeah, keep on going. Now, listen to this. And many of you probably already know, but all technology, listen, all technology is literally wiretapped. Now, most of you, most of y'all not going to believe this, but the government literally got all the things wiretapped. And listen, God showed me how that some things, like some things of Christians, the government can't even see because he is with us and how he could literally mute and everything, but they could see us through our phone, they could hear us and everything, even when we got the TVs plugged. And just, they got things everywhere trying to watch us and everything. But brothers and sisters, keep your eyes on Christ, because God got their eyes on them too. Now listen, um, game, uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, WBE, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Reddit, Christians, please, please, please listen. 
please listen now um all these apps they were all made by the enemy now i understand youtube got a lot of evil stuff on it i understand but god had a plan with youtube specifically youtube but all these other apps they are dangerous and these apps were made by the enemy the app that was though made for good purposes was youtube but we christians are supposed to be preaching there the true gospel okay um then there are some clothes that god don't want us to wear uh i'm gonna start old navy sketchers nikes rock if i'm saying it right oh gucci um Converse, Van, Jordan, Louis Vuitton, uh, so these things God don't want us to wear, and God don't want us to wear this because these people also made a contract with the enemy that to get famous and everything. Before Skechers wasn't so famous. And you've seen them recently. Of how they got famous. Or look at Old Navy. Of how before they weren't so famous. And look at it now. Or Gucci. That's been famous since even later on. Or Converse. When they did that demonic thing. Or Nikes. Why do they have a lightning strike? God showed that these things are hidden signs these logos and everything they all have a demonic meaning to us true meaning and when we wear them we're showing the enemy that we're wearing you know the evilness and all that we cannot us as christians we are not to wear this or eat all the things or watch any of things understood now um fisher price v-tech little people little types i understand that this is so innocent how in the world could this be evil again these things were presented that these things are bad. And again, that they, um, you know, we cannot get any of these things because Fisher Price, VTech, Little People, and Little Tykes are bad. You just can't get them and don't get them to your, to your children. Please keep listening. Also, I want you to, peep, I want you, um, to keep these people in prayer. People of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. People of Walmart and the Tesla Elon Musk. The Elon Musk is right now going, um, the like he does something with the enemy. So the Jeff Bessels, please keep these people in prayer. That chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Now this ain't gonna be easy to explain. Um, basketball, soccer, tennis, hockey, wrestling, boxing, and football. Now these are all sports that the enemy does. In the spiritual world. That demons do this. You know. Basketball. Soccer. Tennis. Hockey. And bowling. Football. And. Uh, you know. They use human skulls. You know. To play around in this. It's, it's really weird. Brothers and sisters. And then the wrestling. And the boxing. How again. That's like demons fighting each other. And all that. Don't watch stuff like this. Please brothers and sisters. Listen. So, brothers and sisters, and then later, when all that was presented, I looked down and the demons were all dancing. There was one demon, though, that was looking at me through the screen. And it was about, of um, Dragon Tales. That was, like, a really old cartoon. And it, it stopped, it slowly stopped dancing, slowly by slowly. I remember I looked at the right side of the place. And there was, like, a little arch door. And a singer named as Bad Bunny... He came through the door. And uh, when he came through the door, uh, all the demons pulled him to the back and everything. And I was wondering why he was in the dream. And I remember how uh, there was rows of them, brothers and sisters. And how in the back they were even bigger and bigger, but I couldn't really see them. And I didn't ask God to let me see them because I know what he was doing was by his own will. And I know he was showing me this. You know, to the stunts he wanted to show me. And, uh, brothers and sisters, you know, just, uh, they, they, they were, they were heading him, you know. They, they were heading him in the back. 
And then I, I remember I was hearing loud screams. Then there was music of nowadays, like, um, example, The Weeknd, uh, Bad Bunny was there, you know, the, like, the, a lot of weird music. And it was just playing its true meaning. Then also, I remember the cartoon intros and outros. Um, they were playing too. And they were just like, you hear them now, they sound so normal. But if you were to hear what in the world was playing down there, like, you will be, like, so confused. And brothers and sisters, God sees the hearts of these people. And I and there's a verse in the Bible that says, What profit a man that loses his soul and that against all the world but loses his soul? Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you that Jesus is the only meaningful thing. And I'm praying that if, if these are lives or Christians listening to this, that you come to Christ and that you draw away these things. And like, um, you know, there is a demon down there that looked like... um. The Frosted Flake Tiger guy. Like he looked so weird down there. And like. It it was just crazy. Many demons looked like. um, Like goats. Goats with weird legs. Looked like it was Benda twice. It was weird brothers and sisters. Now it's the time to come to Christ. And throw away these things inside your house. This will make your house more at peace. But remember brothers and sisters. Be careful what you watch and everything. Because, you know, like, Star Wars was also shown. And, like, Power Rangers. Like, all these things, brothers and sisters, was shown. So, please, brothers and sisters, please listen. And I know many of you won't believe this. But, brothers and sisters, please listen to the warning of Christ. And know... That Jesus is love, but he also has warnings for us to keep on growing and stay away from evil. Hope this video blessed each one of you and it warned you. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.